Hey guys, welcome to Boulder State 3, part 83, I'm Purist, and today, well, last time, had another little bit of a fight, semi breeze through it, it was, it was a little bit touch and go there, but you know. Um, we definitely need a um, long rest, but first, we have to loot. Looting is the best part. I mean, especially fucking um, Gale. Gale and myself definitely need a rest. I'm a little bit, you know... Fist marks. Half plate armor. Send to Kodak. Great club plus one. Oh, now nah, that's where's shifting corpus, extra charge of invisibility, and also blur. A shiny, deceptively simple band designed to look like those worn by battlefield stouts and city pickpockets alike. Oh, hell yeah. I'm equipping this. And a mind parasite. You know, pick it up, I guess. Yeah. Ludsha. What's in here? My Merc Merc Mercalite Scourge. I'll, I'll send it to Carl. I sent it to Carl. Okay. Let's have an assessment. What she have? No. Oh, she yeah, she has a whole boat of vigilance. That is. Very much better. Yeah, I do feel like, yeah, this is definitely better on Carlag. Yeah. For sure. Um, what else? Yep, we got two charges and visibility now. Nice. I'm pretty sure that's the only. Look, these. Uh, yeah, they're not going to have anything. All right. Just before we go into the fray, I think we should have a long rest.
Oh, I guess it's because we're in combat, right? Alright, I guess we'll go back outside then? Hmm. Oh, okay. Do we not... Is there any way we can... Plate to armor 18. More plate armor. I like the caustic bulbs. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm not doing that. Okay, I'm not doing that. didn't know you I mean it, it does make sense when you think about it but still fucking annoying I'm gonna loot these things and also get some plate armor for Karlak if I can
to one spells There we go. Not going to pick that up. I'm going to. I'm going to pick up that um, full plate armor for Karlak though, outside, so definitely doing that. Oh, that's stale mail. Need one with heavy armor. Ah, here we go. And that's a car, like. Okay, good. Car, like. I find it fucking hilarious that um, Shadowheart is a higher AC than Karlak does. Strength of the fire. Thirteen, so that's okay. It's plus one. It's better than me. I think I have good, least expected. There we go. 
she is that now. I don't get how this works. I don't get how that works. Never have. Okay, that looks stupid as hell. What is Arcane Acuity actually? Plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class for each remaining turn. Ah, uh, cool. But um, we are turning the helmet off. Just no. <laughs> it doesn't. Okay. Cool. Oh. I think the one just out here has some. Um oh no, he has stem mail. I mean, it's. Oh. oh no, it's medium armor. Yeah. No, screw that. Okay, let's go back inside. Because apparently we're not allowed to rest. Which does make sense, but I'm still kind of pissed off about it. Got to loot her. Yeah. Sent to call it. I don't know. I mean, I just have to get above a two. It'll be fine. Yep. Oh, good. Oh, what's inside here? Hmm. Mine. I'll take that. Is it like everyone's quarters or something? Sure, let's have a quick, you know. Quick gander. Lazy nineteen. What's in here? A black void. Oh, good. <laughs> I was a little terrified there. Uh. 
I fail perception. What does that mean? Chest. Uh. Mimic. God damn it. Uh. No spirit can save me. Anything else? All right. Stained letter. My darling daughter, when you were a little girl, I would often watch you play with your dolls and your cousins and picture myself an enormous, opaque, a silvery shield surrounding you, protecting you. I knew somehow, deep within myself, that no harm would ever befall you, because I would not let it. Though the healers say I may pass into the city of judgment soon, know this, darling daughter. I am always around you. I am always with you. And the Moon Maid will never allow you to bear a burden you cannot carry. I love you forever. A love that has no death. Mama. Okay, that's cute. Spine Shudder Amulet. Crackling resonance. When your wearer deals damage with a ranged spell attack, inflict two reverberation to the targets. What is that? Infected NT has a minus one penalty to strength decks or constitution saving throws per remaining turn. When the entity is five or more turns of reverberation, it takes one to four thunder damage and possibly falls prone. Creatures immune to thunder damage can't receive reverberation. Okay. Very nice. That can go to jail. Jar poison. Mine. Oil of diminution. Mine. Blood zone. To where? To where's? To where's? To where's? Gold. Selunite robe. Looks cool though. I had to wear it. Consistent. Nice.
Apostle Diary. Most of the time, right, this text has been scoured away by time, but what remains appears to be some form of ritual incantation. Your white ribs, the pillars, your bleached skull of the dome, take on Apostle's final form, Cathedral Wart of Blessed Bone. Oh, so this is his room. Intriguing. May as well get some... Stall of Fear. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, you. Stall Pine of Bones. in here letter to Kepimik my darling husband I know my time is drawing near I don't want to leave you I don't want to leave our little girl but I'm not writing to lament a lot it's ours and no others though the city of judgment is dark I know our lady's light will find me even there I will see her shining spires and walk the silver gardens we both dreamt of. I go to my reward and leave quite a task to you yet, my heart. Taloon's light shines bright in eye, little one, but she will need a guide to keep her on path. I have no doubt that she will keep you on yours. It's the same path, our lady's path, and one day I know it will bring you both back to me. Only not too soon, I hope. I won't say goodbye. There is no loss, only temporary separation. How I love you forever, Melodia. A letter from Catherick's wife. Sounds like she loved him. Very much. Cloak of Elemental Absorption. That's cool. Hmm. What's that? Elder Brain Domination. What? <laughs> Confidential. Dictated to Scribe Yanthus by General Kethevik. Young Gortash's plan to enslave an illithid elder brain and make it our marionette under the control of the crown of Carsus has proceeded almost without flaw, barring the slight delay while our ballist allies sort out their leadership conflict. The weak point must surely be the sharing of the nether stones. It was necessary to secure my engagement and that of the murder cold, but eventually it is certain to fracture a fragile alliance. Clearly, all three nether stones must be controlled by a single leader, me, by preference, but not until after all the stakeholders have made their essential contribution. Gortash fears that, energized by the dark energies of the crown, the brain we now call the Absolute will eventually mend up more foes into something new and more difficult to control. If he's right, the need to invest the power of the Nether Stones into a single wielder is urgent. 
Even more so in that Enver Gortash, at least, must be thinking the same thing. I feel like this is important. I feel like this is very important. I feel like I should take this. But yes. Taking them. Sage map depicts the area surrounding Moonrise Towers in detail, depicting the provision of local fauna, deer, rabbits, black bears, and fluor. A special emphasis placed in areas for prolific foraging. Invasion plans for Folders Gate. Map of Boulder's Gates to put the Upper City, Lower City, and Outer City as far as Worms Crossing, as well as Ray Harbor and the near course of the Chunta. I will show the intended progress of the Army is really absolute with weak points in the city defenses marked with X. Invasion plans for Elter God. Map of Elter God, centering on the city of Elterel and showing the nearby towns of Triel, Scornobel, and Bernadette. A series of concentric lines surround the city with all avenues of state blocked off. Plans for a siege. Trapped drow exiles. The Taylor Strive Beyond This by General Catherick. Sweeping up individual drow renegades is not giving us the cadre of the lot of trained veterans I want for our staff and officer corps. We must be more ambitious. Agent Zilvera, True Soul 113, will be commanded to infiltrate Menzo Baronzan itself, ideally House Bainre. Ostensibly to proselytize on the behalf of the Divine Absolute, I think Zulvre will be convincing in this role. This intrusion will recite outrage among the Bane Rare matrons who can be counted upon to send a war band to exterminate whoever was so rash as to promote anti Loth apostasy in their home. Zulvre will have left a clear trail back to here to Moonrise Towers, where the war band will find out a circle of ragtag heretics but an army in the making. I will parlay with the drow leader, but as we negotiate, her war band will be ambushed and every drow warrior we capture will be tadpoled. This accomplished, the war band leader will meet the same fate and thus we shall acquire a cadre of hardened under dark warriors. And all it will cost us is the life of loyal agent Shilvre. But he is, truth be told, a tedious enthusiast and I will not miss him. Okay, I think we've learned everything we can. Let's 
save. Starring somebody else. The Ethic of War by Christina Suito. A colleague Amabs proposes fair rules of engagement in times of war and forgiveness upon victory. Are we to spare our enemies then once they have fallen to our might? Are we to put all our hatred behind us when surrender is offered? Indeed not. But what shall we do once our opponent gathers new armies and amasses them once again along our borders? We shall wage another war and count the lives snuffed out by our own magnanimity. Once an enemy kingdom is conquered, it must be razed to the ground. Only then can we be free of its spectre. Hmm. Interesting. We haven't. There's a door back here. Outback. Thirty. Well, shit. We need a fifteen for that. We need everything. Nice. We just got that. Ooh. Nice. Now, oh, what the hell is behind this door? Never liked the stairs. What the heck is this? Why was this locked in level 30 lock? Oh, there's an alternate way in. What was that? No. Another level 30 door. Add back on guidance. Okay, that's not gonna cut it. Inspiration. That'll do. This is, um... Yeah! This is Thingo's room. Both of us are. That's it. Yeah. Don't remember killing you. Your Tash. The tone of your recent letter is inappropriate. You may follow the Lord of Tyranny, but I do not answer to him nor to you. It is in the fault of any of the chosen that the artifact has gone astray. Unforeseen events occurred as they always do. 
I know that you plan on mastery and brilliance of mind, but you lack the depth of experience that brings patience and composure. Your artifacts will be found, our enemies will be thwarted, we will prevail. Now show us that you are reliable as well as brilliant. General Catherick Thorn. Salute outfit. Open. Scroll of seeming. Disguise up to four members of your adventuring body. Very valuable. Leadership of the Zen to him. Zen to camp. I want to read all these, but I can't because I'm too fucking heavy, man. Too more fucking heavy. Okay. Better trap some things. Nope. Ah. Uh, overweight. Okay. It's been a little bit of a, you know, quiet episode. We got to fight the mimic though. That was kind of cool. We've just been snooping around. I mean, we got to find out as much information about what the hell he's been he's been doing. I guess we found what he is actually doing. Kind of, I think. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll be picking up with the fight tomorrow. If you want to see that, please like and subscribe. And tune in tomorrow. The usual time, the usual place. Right here. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed. I've been Purist, signing off.